so basically if we talk about bridging concept in ethernet simply we can say that bridge is used to connect two different lands most important point as a definition part of bridge is what is bridge basically so bridge is bridge is used bridge is used to connect to connect two different local area networks two different local area networks to distinct area uh, local area networks to connect them bridge is used so let's say this is a bridge let's say this is a bridge and here in this bridge let's say we are having local area network 1 let's say it is lan 1 and we may have one more lan let's say it is lan 2 let's say it is local area network 2 right it is local area network 1 and each local area network is having some stations let's say station a let's say station b let's say station c let's say station d and here let's say station e station f station g and let's say station h so the thing would be like the thing would be like bridge works at physical layer normally bridge works at physical layer it is very important to know this concept because many kind of layering networking devices which networking devices works in uh, which layer they may ask so bridge works at physical layer as well as at data link layer physical layer as well as at data link layer right so you may have to note it all now thereafter there is a important concept of mapping table so let me tell you the mapping table concept here basically how mapping table works in bridging mapping table for bridge it is a very small concept in which a make address is there and each make address is associated with its port address so make address for let's say device a device b device c device d device e device f device g and device h and make address of a is connected to port let's say port number uh, let's say it is port number a for this bridge and let's say this is port number b for this bridge so what are they they are ports let me they are ports right so device a device b device c and device d they are having port a and device e device device f device g and device h they all are having port number b right or if you want to change is a b c d are also name of station so you can say let's say port 1 and let's say port 2 so let's say port 1 and let's say port 2 so that you can avoid the confusion between stations and port number 1 and 2 are port number right now now as we have already discussed the concepts of static routing and uh, dynamic routing so similarly here also we can divide it like a static bridge a static bridge and dynamic bridge right so a static bridge is it do manually it do manually mapping do manually mapping it will do all the mapping entries manually in static bridging if we talk about dynamic bridging it is also called learning bridge 
it is also called as learning bridge as well as it is also called as transparent bridge as well as it is also called as transparent bridge so in dynamic bridge they will automate they will automate and learn the entries they will automate learning the entries they will automate the learning of entries and it is better than static because automation is there automatically they are doing this right now there are very very important part that we need to that we must have to need under bridging okay. concept what i what do i mean with bridging concept what do i mean with bridging concept bridging concept means let me write here capabilities capabilities of a bridge capabilities of a bridge so what do i mean with capabilities of a bridge so there are some capabilities like filtering there are some capabilities like called as forwarding and there are some capabilities like let's say flooding so normally whether if i talk about uh, filtering or i talk about forwarding or i talk about flooding you can simply understand it that normally in data link layer it would be the structure that your frame is having source mac address source mac address and destination mac address and destination mac address so filtering means if bridge finds that source mac address and destination mac address are on same local area network here bridge will find that source mac address and destination mac address are on same local area network right let's say we are talking about a to c we want to send data a to c or we want to send data from b to d that is on the same local area network if we want to send the data like a to c or b to d or let's say e to f or g to h like this right so this will filter out this will filter out this is a capability of a bridge that it will filter out the packet right it will filter out the packet so what do we mean by filter out packet means they, they are not going to forward it it will filter out it is a filtering concept forwarding is that if source mac address and destination mac address are on different are on different local area networks are on different local area networks if source mac address and destination mac address are on different local area networks in that case forwarding will be done that is if we want to send data from let's say a to e or we want to send data from g to c g to c or a to e so bridge have to forward the data packet from one local area network to different local area networks and flooding basically if any new station is added if any new station will be added will be added so while adding any new station while adding any new station about whom bridge doesn't know about whom bridge doesn't know in that case it will do the flooding which we have already learned what is flooding it will send that data packet to all the connected links so bridge will let's say it is our bridge it is having local era network one two three so it will forward flood 
packet here, 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 all the connected links. If any new station added and uh, bridge doesn't know about uh, it in that case. And fourth and most important capability of a bridge is store and forward technique. A store and forward technique. So basically, it is most important capability of bridge. It means that no collision will occur inside bridge. No collision will occur. No collision will occur inside bridge. Why no collision will occur inside bridge? Because it will use store and forward technique. It will store the packet and forward that packet when bridge finds that that no other packet is exist in that. Uh, bridge so that collision can be avoided so these are four important capabilities of bridge filtering forwarding flooding and store forward. i hope the concept of bridging in internet is very much clear now let's go to a spanning tree algorithm 